thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and good afternoon to you all. I see by your faces you are all excited and enjoying thoroughly your lectures and seminars up to this point. I have been asked to talk with you this afternoon about the secrets in the basic rumba, or indeed the secrets, if there are any, of the rumba. Well, I don't believe there are any secrets. I believe the most important thing that you can give yourself is knowledge. Knowledge and understanding, which is why you are all here. Once you have the knowledge to understand it, to know when, where and how to use it is probably the most important aspect of the dance. However, on top of that, we have many different aspects of, of dance and knowledge in the rumba. We have the technique, we have the characterization of the dance, which is, as we all know, the dance of love. But what does that mean, the dance of love? Anyone? Tell me what this word love means to you individually. Anyone? A story of a man and a woman. Now that sounds very easy, just to say a story between a man and a woman. It is your job, therefore, to show the relationship between you and your partner. You have to decide, as a couple, how you want the audience, the judges, to feel after they have watched your performance. Now just take a moment. When you dance your rumba in a competition, do you ever stop and think how you want those people to feel after they have watched your performance? Or do you just stand Take your position, make your shape, correct action, correct movement, and do whatever happens. Or do you set yourself up correctly? Do you look at your partner? Gentlemen, do you invite your ladies to dance with you? Or do you command and demand them, dance with me? I see all too many times the gentlemen, because of their male testosterone and ego, they somehow become the competitor. Dance with me, woman. <laughs> now that's all very good if you want to have an aggressive performance of a rumba. Myself, I am very much more thrilled and enjoy the sight of two people dancing together, communicating to each other softness, gentleness, romance, respect for one another, the way he ho holds his hand out for the lady to touch it. So we start to talk about a very sensuous, heart-feeling, a heart-wrenching performance of a rumba. Not something where you are demanding and pushing and pulling and thrusting and gushing. That is maybe part of the performance. This word of love takes in every emotion that we possess. 
every emotion. Sadness, happiness, fear, frustration, anger. It is all part of this dance. But before we can build the dance, we have to start with the sensitivity of touch, whether it be sensitivity of touch through our hands or through our eyes to one another. And I, fe I feel that in the competitive world of a rumba, this, this sensuous, intimate moment gets lost because we all try to compete. We all try to show the best leg action, which is important to have a great leg action. We all try to show the, the biggest movement of our hips or the most movement of our body. And all too often we forget the simple relationship between each other. Now, what is going to govern that point? What do you think tells us whether we should dance a soft, gentle, intimate rumba, or one which has gentleness together with power and passion? What is going to tell us? What dictates the type of rumba that we have? The music. So depending if our music is soft and gentle, that is how we would then dance our rumba. If it is a more aggressive type of rumba, that is then what we would portray in that moment. Now we're going to have some music played in a moment, but I believe I am only allowed to have five or so couples to come onto the floor. The, the uh, video people have asked not for so many people to come onto the floor. So maybe if we could have five or so couples volunteer to just stand up so that we can show some form of intimacy show some form of feeling because with feeling it is a very very personal sensation how i feel something is not necessarily how you're going to feel something but what i need to see what i need to feel at the end of your performance is something i need to feel that i have witnessed an intimate moment between two people so that we can create sensuality, sensitivity, and passion, and desire, and love, and longing in that relationship between a man and a woman. So, who are, who are we going to have on the floor? Who would like to volunteer to stand up first of all? Okay, well that, well, that went down really well, didn't it? <laughs> who is going to stand up first? Let's have a man stand up first, any man. Okay, right, so that's really good. So we'll just have a man. We'll just pick a nice, tall man. So I guess I'll have to start with this moment of intimacy with your partner, if I may, yes? Okay, you ready? Could we have the soft rumba, please? <coughs> now, which, which way would you like me? This way or that? I don't know which way I'm going to go. You just, just stand with your legs open. <laughs> right. So as you can see, all I'm wanting is for this handsome, gorgeous man to be himself. I don't want you to posture, move your hip, just be a man. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many men forget to be men. Right, that's great. Okay.
<laughs> was it that bad? Okay, was it good for you? Oh, it was good for me. Okay. Okay, so we'll have another man. Let's play. Now, this man, a little bit different. This man was very gentle looking, very soft, beautiful, soft face. Now, this man looks a little bit more aggressive. Just, just his build. Just, yeah. Could we have the more aggressive rumba, please? Actually, I will turn it round so that you can see it from the front and the back. Okay. Okay. Okay, now so far, these men have done nothing. And it's been my pleasure to use their bodies, but we haven't actually touched hands yet. We have very significantly, very importantly, made eye contact. But we haven't used our hands. So I'm now looking for a man whose hands I can use. Well, I'm, I think I'll, you, I can use you. Right, okay. So this gentleman, thank you very much, is going to, soft music please, is going to invite me to dance. He's going to ask for my permission to take my hand. He's not going to demand my hand. He's going to gently significantly Now, the men have shown us that they can quite happily stand there and allow us, the women, to touch them. They like that feeling. They like to be looked at because they're men. What about the woman? What does she want to feel? Anyone? Come on, girls. What do you like to feel when you dance your rumba? Anyone? Soft? Hard? Do you like it soft or do you like it hard? That's a good question. <laughs> I could also ask, do you like it fast or do you like it slow? <laughs> so girls, what do you feel? What do you want to feel? Do you want to feel protected by your man? Do you want him to come up from behind you and let you know that he's there to look after you? 
What do you want? Because girls, your job is to talk to your man. Let him know how you like it. Let him know what you want to feel because you are the pièce de résistance. You are the ones that we all look at. So if you ladies do not feel expensive, if you don't feel like a lady, if you don't feel beautiful about yourself, you have no chance to behave like a woman. And being a woman is very, very important in this act relationship between the man and the woman. So come on, can we have a lady volunteer, please? A lady volunteer? None. Why are you all so shy in my, I mean, you got up for the, did he? Thank you, well done, well done. Now, this beautiful girl, she's going to stand there, all right? She's not going to move, all right? And I'm just going to walk up behind her. You have to imagine I'm a man now, yeah? Soft music, please. So I think it's important when you have two people, all right, they don't know what I'm going to do. I'd like you to just touch each other's hand. Now, you're holding hands, right? All I want you to do is too heavy. Touch. Right? Just touch. Tingle a little bit. Create a little bit of sensation. Now then, once you've touched each other's hand, hold the hand, ask for her to take your hand, feel each other, and now just move side to side, forward, back, whatever you like. Now suddenly, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry, no, 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 here we are, here we are, here we are, ballroom couple. Suddenly they panic because I can't do Latin, I'm not, you know, blah, blah, blah. excuse me, you're a man, yes? You're a woman. Look into his eyes. Do nothing. Now give her your hand. Sit. Bring her to you. Bring her into your body. Don't be frightened, he's not going to bite. Go. That's it. That's it. Lovely. See? <laughs> Intimacy is beautiful. It's lovely. <laughs> So again, I'm going to ask you, I'd like five men to come on the floor, please, now, this minute. Five men. Five. Uno, due, tre, quattro. One, two, three. Anyone else? Who have we not had yet? Who have we not had yet? We've got to have Sergi because he's been performing all day, so please, would you come, yeah? Okay, now, here we have five men. Reasonable height, okay? Now, I'd just like you to stand with your legs open and I'd like five ladies. Now, these are gorgeous men, gorgeous. So now is your moment. If you haven't touched these bodies, please, five girls, come up and touch the body. Here we have one volunteer. Anyone else? Right, good. 
Oh my goodness, I'm a dancer, but I don't want anyone to watch me. Okay, so we need, we need a volunteer for this young man. Come on, you, you could, yeah, that's okay. Now, you'll notice that they all, these beautiful, gorgeous females, they all walked up very sweetly and stood beside their recognized partners. So now I'd like you all to change. I don't want you to dance with your partner and I don't want you to dance with your partner. I want you to dance with a different person, please. Because intimacy and sensation and touch are created, well, created even, even more, um, they're just more stimulated when it's with somebody that you don't normally touch. So with your partner, sometimes you can become all too familiar. And when you're not with your partner and you touch a different hand for the first time, you can create an intimacy that is a difficult, a different chemical reaction. So if we have the slow, soft rumba again, please, and if you could just spread out. And gentlemen, I just want you to stand still. Stand absolutely still. Girls, ladies, I want you to walk up to your man just the way I walked up to this young man earlier, and I want you to touch his body, preferably his sides. We don't want to get too intimate too quickly. So, music please. Sorry, could you start that? Sorry, just a moment. Now, the first point of recognition is through our eyes. So I would like to know at which point you looked at the man when you walked in here and you did this. Where is he? Did I miss something? Right. Could we have that again, please? time, ladies, I would like you to walk up to your man and bring him alive. Yes? So I would like you, through the touch of your hand and fingers, I'll, I'll show you the middle fingers this way because that way is a bad sign. So middle fingers this way, yes, especially the thumb and the middle fingers, if used correctly, can create a very powerful reaction. Yes? So, <laughs> could, we <j> <laughs> could we just have fingers and thumbs and bring your man alive? Get a reaction out of his body, please. Music again, thank you. Now, just a moment, whilst you're sitting beside the person next to you, could you just very gently sit down and reach across and touch their hand? Just, just touch their hand so that you too are creating some form of intimacy with the next person. Yes, go ahead. Lovely. Yes, we've got it here. Very good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Music, please. Thank you.
play the harder music, the second one. Now, let's just do it one more time. Girls, you'll get your moment when they create something in you. But could you do it to the other music and see if it creates in you a different uh, sensation, a different response? Maybe then there will be a different reaction from your man. And men, I want you to take note to see if the girls are creating in you a different feeling, whether you respond differently or not. Yes? Okay. Yes, please. Right, now, girls, would you like to just take a nice position, stand, and let's see what the guys, what the men are going to do to offer an invitation. Remember, just because I'm now passing over the uh, challenge to you does not mean to say that you come out fighting. I still want to feel that these girls, these ladies, are beautiful, respectable women. So you have to touch them, create some sort of sensation in them through your eyes, through your hands, whatever part of you, you are going to touch them with. Please, go ahead. Uh, soft music first, please. La prima. if it will change when we play a slightly harder piece of music. Let's see what these guys can do now. The second music, please. Stillness is a wonderful thing. Stillness is beautiful.
Now, ladies, was there moments, either to the slow music or to the fast, when you didn't actually know what you should do? You didn't know if you should move or stand still or what the man expected of you? Was there a moment of, I'm not sure what I have to do here, oh my God, what am I going to do? Was there a moment? Or did your man that you were dancing with, did he quite completely give you the message of his desires? Did you feel completely in control of what you thought the man was wanting you to do? Yes? Not, not a hundred percent, right? Good girl. You did? You knew exactly where he wanted you, when he wanted you, and what you wanted. Perfect. Yes? Great. Ask you, oh well, these guys are just fantastic. These guys are just great. Ask yourself, when you dance with your partner, do you always know what it is he wants you to do by his touch? Or does he say, do it again, that was rubbish. Or, you know, nicely, I'm quite sure he says that. But the message from the man to the woman has to be very clear. And if the woman is standing at that moment thinking, I don't know whether he wants me to turn, move, give him my hand, touch him, not touch him, I don't know. You have to tell that to the man that you are dancing with so that you can open up a line of communication so that we can see the intention that was meant by that person at that moment in time. Yes? So sometimes when we have our choreography, we had a, a moment this morning where the gentleman was in full control of his partner. And then when it came to swivels, she didn't know what time he wanted her to swivel on. I didn't know. And I completely lost his frame. I lost his sensitivity. I lost his intent. I lost the message. It wasn't clear. So the message that you are giving all the time to your partners has to be one that is easily read, that she can feel, that he can understand, so that we really have an open line of communication through our eyes, through our touch, and then through our bodies so that our legs and all parts of us are moving together at the same time, on the same part of the beat, at the same moment. So why don't you go back to your own partners? Just change again. Miss Barbara? Hello? Five minutes, please. Oh, oh right. Right, go back to our partners and we feel all safe again. Maybe we're, disappo maybe we're disappointed, I don't know. But let's try again. Slow music, please. Soft music. And ladies, wait for the men to ask you to dance with them, please. The same again with your partner. Let's see if it's as sensuous with the partner as it was with the stranger.
parents think it was different dancing with their own partner or the same when they were with the stranger? Was it different or the same? It was different. What was different? Me too. I think it was better. So, we will do partner swapping in the next competition, okay? Just swap the partners. Because with the stranger, there was a chemical reaction that doesn't take place with the partner. So that tells us that you are not looking at your partner the same way as you looked at the stranger. There was not the same inquisitive eye searching. There was not the same touch. Because you take him for granted. Oh, he's just my partner. He knows what I want. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you can't do that. When you take your partner's hand, it should feel like the first moment. When you look into your partner's eyes, it should feel like the first moment. Like you have not seen each other. At the end of the music, you'll never see them again. Think how sad you would really feel. We have to search inside of ourselves to bring out real, true, heartfelt emotion. Be it sadness, fear, frustration, anger, passion. We have to bring it out of ourselves. That's how you need to look at your partners. That's how you need to touch your partner and not take them for granted. Because we, the audience, we want to be moved. We want to feel something at the end of that performance. You might be crying at the end of it because your heart's broken. You might be feeling very passionate at the end of it because it was like just so frothy. So if we can say thank you to our couple, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Miss Barbara McCool.